Okay, so we're doing particle interactions. So we're looking at um, this thing called a baryon number and a lepton number today before we look into the interactions themselves. It is a... Correct. Write this down. You need to memorize what's on the screen on the bottom. Baryon number is strictly... What does strictly mean? It's strict, like it has to follow that, right? Sure, only. Yeah. What does conserve mean? Yeah, it stays the same. You know, like jam conserve. Like you're conserving the jam. You don't want it to go off. So the formula is barrier number B is equal to one third times the number of Q. What does Q stand for? Number of quarks minus the number of antiquarks. How many um, quarks in a proton? Three. And how many antiquarks in a proton? Zero. So the baryon number for a proton is one. So the baryon number is the number of baryons in a system. Let's do another example. An electron. How many quarks in an electron? How many antiquarks in an electron? So the number of baryons in an electron Zero. makes sense, right? Because it's a lepton. There's no baryons. It is also conserved. So it also has to stay the same when something happens, like decay or something. So formula, slightly more simple. The lepton number is the number of leptons minus the number of antileptons. Every lepton has a lepton number of plus one. Every anti-lepton has a lepton number of negative one. Remember that the lepton neutrinos are also considered leptons and thus have a lepton number of plus one. A bit like a neutron is still a baryon, so it still has a baryon number of one even though the charge is zero. Okay, so don't get confused there. Okay, so here's some examples of particle interactions. Emitting and receiving energy, annihilation, decay reactions, like I said, from the nuclear topic. These all have to be conserved in terms of baryon number and lepton number. And charge as well. Okay? An example of this. A proton decays into a neutron, positron and electron neutrino. What's the symbol for a proton? Neutron, positron, positron is an E with a plus, because a positron is the opposite of an electron, and an electron neutrino is the E. So what's, what's the, let's assess all of these things. What's the charge of a proton? Positive, one. The charge of a neutron, zero, positron, and uh, electron neutrino, zero, neutrino, neutrino, zero. So is the charge conserved? Let's do it. Let's do a table. Charge before, charge after, conserve. Yes. Okay, next thing I want to test. Baryon. Um, what's the baryon number of a proton? One. Um, what's the baryon number of a neutron? What's the baryon number of an electron? What's the baryon number of a electron neutrino? So that's that's a baryon, that's a baryon, that's a lepton, that's a lepton. Yeah? yeah. Is it conserved? Yeah. Lepton number. Is a proton a lepton? No. Is a neutron a lepton? No. No. Does it have any leptons? No. Yeah. They don't have leptons, they have quarks. Positron have an electron, a uh, lepton. 
because an electron is a lepton and the positron is an anti-lepton. Okay, so a proton decay is conserved in its decay from to a neutron, positron and electron neutrino.